Sushi, wanna play? Sushi? Hello, Miss Sushi. I'm calling about your extended sushi warranty. Sometimes it can be really exciting for somebody to call our name, especially if it's something we're happy about. Who doesn't want to be called up for good news? But sometimes we're no, we know we're being called for something less fun, like maybe somebody trying to sell you something. The Bible has many examples of people getting called, maybe not on the telephone. And just like we feel, sometimes the people were glad and excited, and sometimes they were not. What did Mary say to the angel? Let it be me according to your word. We don't know exactly how Mary felt, but we know that her answer to the angel was yes, send me. Do you remember Jonah and the story of the big fish? What did he do when God called him? He ran the other way, not just to the next town over, but jumped on a boat headed far, far away in the opposite of direction where God had told him to go. In our passage today, Isaiah has a truly incredible experience. And then when the question is asked, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah responds, here I am, send me. And although we don't know exactly how Isaiah feels, we can guess by his words that he's at least a little more willing to help out than Jonah. What sticks out to me is although the people in our Bible have very different experiences, they are all called by God. And so their reactions are not just about what experiences they had, but how they felt about the one that was calling them. Jonah was not just unhappy, he was angry and afraid. He didn't like the place God told him to go, and he didn't want God to help those people. Even though Mary and Isaiah said yes, that doesn't mean that they weren't afraid either. What they did that was different from Jonah was that they trusted God. They decided that they could trust God and say yes, even though they didn't know what was going to happen. I don't know what I would have done if I was Mary, Jonah, or Isaiah, but I know that I can trust God today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Even when we don't know what is going to happen, even when we are afraid or angry or sad, we can trust that God has good things planned for us because he loves us.